In addition to showing you how to install a Tiger Tail tow system on your Can-Am Outlander, today's video has bonus content, how not to record a video, bad exposure, terrible camera work, it's all here. Start with a look at the parts involved. On the left we have the Tiger Tail retractable tow rope. Then we've got a custom bracket and a mount that I made from chopping up a, a tow hitch receiver. And we're going to slap all those bits together and make it fit in the 2-inch re factory receiver in the uh, Can-Am Outlander. This is a look at the uh, Tiger Tail tow system itself. It's basically a spring-loaded retractable tow rope system uh, with a synthetic winch cable for the rope there and a hook built in. And then it bolts down to a mounting plate. Over here we have the custom-made... Uh, mounting bracket I made for it. Uh, I cut up an old mounting plate from a Grizzly and attached it to uh, part of a two inch receiver hitch that I chopped up. Uh, you'll notice that uh, I had to cut three quarters of an inch off the end so that the uh, hitch pin would fit because there isn't much clearance. Here's a view from the top. That's the Grizzly pl plate. I cut and bent and re-welded the back half of it and you'll see what that's about in a moment. Here's a look at uh, one of the diff bolts that I uh, took out so that I could make a custom bracket that would uh, use that bolt. This here custom bracket uh, that bolts to the, uh, the bent part of the Grizzly mount and goes through the diff and that's to help keep it from uh, rattling around. Here's a look at the license plate. I had to modify the license plate holder. Basically uh, took it out, uh, trimmed the corners a bit so it would fit back upside down and then put it back in there uh, the other way up. Custom drilled a couple of holes in the license plate and that tucks the license plate up out of the way so I can get the uh, tiger tail mounted nice and high and tight. Here's the tiger tail uh, bolted down to the custom half grizzly half uh, hitch receiver bracket that I made. You can see there's the uh, on the top there's the bracket that bolts to the differential using that uh, stock differential bolt. And then uh, here's a look sitting in its mount, all ready to be installed. I'm going to install it using a 5 8 bolt, grade 8 bolt, instead of a, a hitch pin, again to keep it from rattling. Here it is installed. You can see the uh, grade 8 5 8 bolt there. You can see it's also tucked up nice and high and tight. And then you can also see the, the diff bolt there installed. There's a look at uh, the bolts mounting it to its own plate there. And you can see it's got a one and a quarter inch uh, receiver as well. So that I can put different tow bars in there if I need to. And uh, here's a closer look at the uh, that custom bracket there to bolt it to the diff, keep things from rattling. You can see too it's got a couple of uh, eyelet holes there for either hooking uh, safety chains to for towing or if you wanted to put a, an additional tow rope on or a winch rope a mounting point for some reason. If you wanted to winch the back you could uh, hook the hook in there. Look from the other side, there's the head of the diff bolt that goes through the custom bracket. You see the one and a quarter inch receiver. And there's the license plate again, tucked up nice and high so it's out of the way. And that allowed me to get the tiger tail mounted up uh, nice and high and close to the body. I wanted it protected from uh, trail debris as much as possible. And all in all, it sits in there pretty darn well. Nice and tight. Pretty cool system. And that's it for today's article. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.